Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video on the 335i. So today guys, I'm doing something you all have been requesting and that's getting the body work done professionally. So I don't know if you guys know, but here's the 335 pulled outside. Looking beautiful. I love this front end so much. M Sport. My goodness. And also by the way guys, Keith Motorsports is sending out another thing for this car. So shout out to them. Killing it with the build. But yeah, I don't know if you guys can see. I did my best, but my best, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the shop. They're going to go ahead and fix that quarter panel. They're gonna go ahead and fix this quarter panel, and I'm gonna see if they could fix the door as well. I mean, if not, it's whatever. Um, but I mean, if they could fix the quarter panel, that is the main thing. The door just got one little hole, not that big of a deal. But yeah, guys, um, one of you guys hooked it up. He's a subscriber, he, he has a shop with his boss, and he's like, bring it by. And you know, we'll do what we can. I'm like, all right, man, sounds good. So we're gonna take you down there. My cousin's also gonna take his Mustang down there. He's gonna get his Mustang fixed. I'm gonna get this car fixed. Hopefully after that on the way home, I'll stop by Smog, get a Smog, and then hopefully we should be good to go. And then you guys already know, I'm going to be starting looking for some wrap ideas, and be swapping out the entire interior, and I'm going to be reaching out to a couple more companies for some uh, modifications, of course, because that's me. So yeah, lots of videos to come, guys. So today, guys, you're going to be surprising my brother. So I don't know if you guys know, but like I told y'all in a couple videos before, the N51 has a giant warranty on it that I was unaware of. And me and him attempt to replace the valve cover, but we accidentally cracked the valve cover itself. We just tried to replace the gasket, but we we're missing a couple of screws and we we're yanking out and we cracked it. So, you know, as you know, amateur mechanics, we, 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 I don't even know if we consider ourselves mechanics, but you know, we're, we're trying our best here. So, it didn't go according to plan. We went ahead, ordered a few things. I don't know if you guys can see all those boxes right there, but that is a valve cover, all the gaskets, everything I need to fix up my brother's car. It's pretty cheap. We didn't, we didn't opt for like the $500 OEM BMW one because that's just ridiculous. So I don't think this car is, you know, we're not, we're not going to keep it long enough for, to take full advantage of it. So I mean like, I think an aftermarket one with good, a good amount of reviews is good enough. And this guy, this tall thing is for the 335. So if you guys are wondering what that is, you know, wonder down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think that is. That's for the 335, but it's not for the 328. So like I said, guys, I'm doing already the LCI conversion and another conversion. This piece, again, is for the 335. So I'm not gonna be mentioning what this is exactly. You guys will have to see when the car gets back from the shop. Yes, the car is at the shop. Wait, let's just say the car um, is having the repairs done professionally like you guys wanted it to be. So shout out to Jose. By the way, if my lips are shining, it's because uh, I have lipstick on, and that's because of the medication that I already told you guys I'm on, so I can get rid of my acne. I hope it's getting better. I'm pretty sure you guys have been noticing. Come on, I haven't been getting any acne recently. Let's go ahead and get my brother's car in the garage, and then uh, start working on this beast. The reason why I'm saying surprising, he is the one that ordered the valve cover, but he isn't, he's in school right now. Um, I don't really have class on Fridays. I have this one econ class that I decided to skip today because he has like four other classes today and I'm not really trying to wait for him to finish all his classes. So I'm trying to do at least some work, you know? So I have that class three days a week, missing one day is not gonna be the end of the world. Especially it's econ, so whatever. By the way, I know I need to get a tripod. I don't know if you guys realize, but a couple of you guys realize that I actually broke two of my tripods. So how'd that happen? Um, from being careless. So that's whatever. I'm gonna set you guys up, um, you know, just from my camera onto the car. 
And I'm gonna be trying to get this as far down to the valve cover as possible and probably even do the valve cover. But before we do that, before we move anything, let's make sure we have everything in the box um, so we're not having it all open but not have anything in the box. Let's go ahead and check what we got. All right guys, you can probably tell right off the bat that this is not an OEM one. It doesn't have all the labeling and everything on it, but it's whatever. It comes with the motor gasket, which is what we one of the main things we needed. It's leaking from there. Our valve cover is cracked right here, so it's it, it's pretty much seeping air, which is giving us an air leak problem, which is giving us a service engine light. So it's mainly because of the crack in the valve cover. The valve cover is really good quality, so I'm happy with that. Also, this is snapped on ours. So we literally have nothing connected to uh, the valve cover right here. The hose is supposed to connect here, but it snapped off. So things happen. What I'm also surprised is that it came with many bolts. Like it already comes with these bolts. Like it wants to come with a few of them, but not all of them. Like it comes with this one, comes with that one over there, but it doesn't come with that one. But then it comes with these ones all the way around, but it doesn't have it right, right here. But I mean, also on the bottom guys, it comes with all the gaskets. So all for the cylinders and all the way around. So this is a pretty good valve cover, honestly. Um, but let's just go ahead and get into it. I wanna pretty much get this valve cover off and get this one on and move forth and hopefully get the service engine light off the dash because that would be amazing. All right guys, I know I should probably get a tripod. But as you guys can see, I got everything out of the way. Um, this is all cleared up. I finally got that hose back there. That hose is an absolute pain, but got it off without breaking it. I've broken two before and I've done two correctly now. So I'm on a streak. I'm getting them right. Fingers crossed. I'm never going to mess that up again. Uh, motor, I loosen that up. I've already done this multiple times now and I've seen it be done multiple times now after the experiences. So the main reason we're replacing this, I don't know if you guys can see, but um, I don't know if you guys can see in there around that spark plug socket, there's a crack. So a lot of oil is coming out and that's no good. And then also that piece where the hose sits, um, that part is broken where the hose actually plugs into. So that one's got everything good. So hopefully we won't have any issues. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead, loosen up the rest of these bolts and then you know, um, when I took off the valve cover, I'll check back with you guys. All right guys, so at this point, your boy did pretty good. Um, I went ahead, got everything out, got the motor out, got that hose out, everything's out. Pretty sure all I gotta do now is pretty much just uh, like move that oil cap to this one. But other than that, I'm gonna try to get this whole valve cover off. Hopefully it should come off no problem. That's how it's supposed to come off. We were prying it and we didn't realize there's extra bolts left in this. So I'm pretty sure I removed everything and it's good to go. So let's go ahead and sit you guys down and remove this valve cover. All right guys, I'm happy to say that it's all bolted on. New valve cover is on there. So all we gotta do now is assemble everything else and start up the car and hopefully everything should be fine. All right guys, my brother just got back from school. How's school today, bro? Three exits. Three exits. <laughs> Not too shabby. What's it called? So Alon wants you just to show him real quick where the problems are with your engine. So you know tomorrow he's gonna come back and help us work on it. But he just wants we just want to see what's the problem with it exactly. So no, I just hand tighten them. Yeah, we're just wondering what's exactly wrong with it. What valve is it? Uh, they said it's, 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 you know a spark plug? It's a crack in the spark plug. No, 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 not only that, like, what, what hose was ripped? Where's the, the hose, hose at? Right? Oh, the hose, yeah, it's back there. Isn't this piece? That piece right there, yeah, you're right. But how, how come the hose is on there, though? What? The hose is on there? It? I thought you said it was broken. Like, the hose is on there, fine. Oh, shit. Oh, BMW must have done that, but the valve cover's cracked. Oh. I didn't even know that. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> they, they fixed that for you? BMW fixed that for you? I think so, yeah, because I, I, I didn't have it like that. Huh. Where's the crack? 
Wait, wait, where's the crack? How come there's no oil on it? There's a, it looks yeah, it looks new. really clean. You guys are <laughs> stupid. You guys actually, I didn't see the tag. <laughs> my bad, my bad language, but thank you so much, dude. Yeah, you just came around and you just helped us do the whole thing. What? Yeah, so we're thank done. You. That's it. Exactly. That's it. Thank How you feeling, you. the man, that's, that's a lot of work, dude. How you feeling? Amazing, dude, because stress is like, oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, I know this is like a couple days after. I'm gonna show some footage before, some footage after. Um, so I stopped by Jose. Jose hooked it up with the repair on the car. It's been a couple days. I know. I haven't been. I haven't been uploading. I know, but. That's because I haven't had my car. He's actually been fixing up the body. He's, you know, he's been perfecting the body. Um, now all that needs is primer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the car so I can continue to make content, but it does still need primer. So he told me he's actually gonna come by my house. He's gonna come out of his way to come to my house to help me primer the car and finish it up um, to get, you know, pretty much ready for what we need to do next to the car. So shout out to Jose. I'm gonna have his Instagram down below if you guys wanna get any body work done with him. And he's also starting up a little detailing gig. So if you guys wanna check out the detailing company he's working for. But anyways, we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna go pick up my car to 335 and we're picking up my friends, uh, my cousins, uh, Mustang. So we're gonna go pick up his Mustang and see what they did to his car. He had a messed up quarter panel and a messed up door. I mean, it has everything messed up. The hood's also messed up, but we're not gonna get that fixed. We're just fixing up the quarter panel and door, um, and they're aligning the bumper for him. Without further ado, I'm just gonna check back with you guys when I actually get there. The car is stolen. Oh boy. All right, guys, that's the car right there. Guys, didn't even get to drive three feet, and I already got the service engine light. Came out of nowhere. It, it did come up saying I need to, uh, what's it called? It gave me a gas cap, it's a loose gas cap. I just bought a new gas cap. So I really don't know what's the purpose of that. And it's tight all right. I don't really know why I'm getting a gas cap issue. Um, probably could be more damage to the fuel tank than I would think, and uh, we, might, we might not be able to smog this. All right guys, well I already jinxed myself pretty much. Service engine light is up. It said I had a gas cap issue. I know I don't have a gas cap issue but apparently you have a gas cap issue. So, um, at this point guys, we're not gonna be able to smog today because I have the service engine light. That is honestly such a mood killer. All right guys, I don't know if you guys can see, but uh, yeah, so we were at AutoZone, we read the codes and it said the gas cap. So, what I'm assuming is, is that maybe the piping to the gas cap is, you know, cracked or something. I don't know why it keeps throwing me the gas cap error, but uh, I have, really no idea i might have to get this diagnosed somewhere i don't really know why what's the reasoning for this i mean yeah the car did have bolts going through it but i mean still i don't understand why the gas cap light was there even when i replaced the gas cap maybe the maybe it's leaking gas i don't know it's a small evap leak from the gas cap so i'm just gonna have to go home probably this video is gonna have to try to find out why I'm having that air. Maybe the piping that connects to the fuel tank to the the where you load the fuel is leaking. So uh, we'll go home and check that out. Hopefully, we can find our issue. If not, so we might have to get this thing diagnosed at a shop. I've been feeling down, 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 down. All right, guys. So we are back home. A little bit of change of you know what we're gonna be doing today. So I actually was planning on going down to the smog, doing some smog stuff. Hopefully passing it, getting the registration plates and everything, and getting this car on the road, road worthy, and start replacing, you know, parts that require VIN number changing. But unfortunately, we cannot get to that because as soon as it took it out the corner, my car decided to throw another service engine light, and that's because of the gas cap. Now I already replaced my gas cap. I don't know if I showed you guys in this video. Actually, let me just go ahead and pull it out. This is my old gas cap right here. Um, I have the new one installed. It's actually a blue one. BMW says that the new gas caps are blue. Go ahead and show you guys real quick. So that's the new one right there. And you guys can hear, it locks. Like it sounds good, it closes, but I'm still getting a fuel, uh, I'm still getting a gas cap issue. So I'm assuming it's the line that connects to it down there. We're gonna take off the wheel, we're gonna check it out, we're gonna see what's wrong with it. But also guys, I need to show you something that you guys probably noticed, is that the body is officially done and it's done by a professional, professionals. Um, so, so you guys can see, that is flat. The lines are perfect. That is flat, that is flat. Um, so this line is perfect down here. 
one up here is good and that's all it feels great but it still needs the still needs the primer so it actually you know looks good and you know be be ready for wrap same applies to this side we got the bullet hole there covered this one's covered the line is there now um, so everything is good. That one had three bullet holes. So that's got all fixed up and everything. That's perfect. Um, this door had a little bit of an issue. He fixed out without even letting me know. And there was a bullet hole on there. And he fixed that as well. So he fixed all of this. Shout out to him. His link could be down in the description. His name is Jose. So if you guys need any body work done, make sure you check out Jose down below. He honestly hooked it up. I, I'm going to tell y'all, he didn't charge me. He actually just hooked it up. So... If you guys want to show him some love and go down in the description and follow him and just, you know, ask him if you guys have any, if you guys need any quotes on some repairs, he'd be glad to help. He's a really good guy. Um, and yeah, you guys will be seeing him on Saturday most likely. And uh, we're going to finish this up, finish up the body, get it, you know, ready for wrap. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and figure out what the hell is going on with our, uh, with our fuel gas cap issue. Been running hopelessly, seems like everybody's still staring at me. You fake it then, MTV. Don't choose your words carefully Cause I've been feeling down, 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 down Then I wake up Alright guys, to be honest with y'all um, I'm not finding any problems It all looks good Even the pipe itself seems just fine I felt behind them And I'm not feeling any issues And it goes straight to the gas tank So, I mean, everything is there My fuel gauge itself is not like lowering any more than it should When I fill it up or when I drive it it feels like everything is going as it is you know everything seems fine but i'm still getting the gas cap error uh, i'm not sure why so we're gonna go ahead uh start up the car run the codes again and see if that code has like it links to any particular module but as of here everything looks fine i mean the bolts missed everything that's kind of important so um yeah this is an ongoing investigation What's up guys? Now I know I haven't uploaded in a while. I know. This is like another two or three days that the car is still at the shop. Um, so they got back to me this morning. I know, I know, I, I know I haven't uploaded. I know, I know, I don't know. I can't emphasize on that enough. But the main reason why I haven't uploaded guys is because I told y'all I'm not making pointless content. When I get my car is when I work on my car, and if I don't have a car, then I'm not going to work on a car. So, I'm not going to do some pointless videos, but Ibrahim right now, he is working on his car. Um, we are going to do a, a coolant flush. That's something I should do on my car, too. So, we're just going to do it on his car first. Um, but, we're going to go pick up my car right now. So, if you guys haven't known, the car was at the body shop for roughly a week, getting patched up, fixed up professionally with fiberglass and Bondo, because that's what y'all wanted, and that's what, you know, I think the car deserves. And then now it's back at the shop because the same day I was going to go smog, you guys saw, um, the car decided to throw an EVAP code and uh, apparently when I took it down to the shop, they found over, you know, six hoses that were messed up. So they told me it's really hoses, it's hard hoses to get to. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to pay for it. I just want them to just finish the car. I just want, I just want to go pick up the car and it's done. Like I just want to go pick it up, drive it and then wait a week and then smog it. Like I just want, I'm done. Like I'm really just sick and tired. I'm done. I just want to get my car back so we can start working on it and everything should be fine. Um, so he's also a smog shop, so he's saying if it doesn't pass to the other smog, bring it by to me. You know, we'll check it out. I'm like, alright, cool. So right now, guys, we gotta go pick it up and we're gonna start doing some things to it. Cause I've been feeling down, 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 then I wake up. I'm tired of running round, 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 round for the fake stuff. Okay, back when I was young, I had people looking down on me. Now I'm growing up, now I'm trying to live so far. Alright guys, well $185 later, um, car has no more service engine light. The tube he actually gave me that, like, actually has a bullet hole through it. I'll show you guys when I get back. Um, actually had a bullet hole through it, so, um, they, they, they repaired everything. $185 later, we should be good for smog and this car should be legal, um, soon. And once I do the smog, guys, I'm telling you, once this car is registered, we're going all out. We're going all out. But uh, before we do that, as you guys can see, it has no airbag. I'm trying to do the recall on this car right now. Um, so my main goal right now is getting the car back to stock. Yes, unfortunately, I have to get it back to stock. And then we're going to go do the recall. And uh, that's going to take about a day or two. So I might as well upload this video so let's get, get some content. And then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and pick up the car two days later work on it again. So this it's going to be like three days after this video. The, video, the next video is going to be up. But it's not because I don't want to upload, guys. It's because literally the car is going to be at the shop. And it's going to be like this for a little bit. But after that, guys, it's going to be endless content with mod, you know, all kinds of mods, wrapping, all kinds of, you know, even the tears getting all swapped out. So you guys already know. But without further ado, let's get home. Uh, let's start working on some of the 
So let's start removing some of the mods. All right, guys, so I'm actually, I called BMW about the recalls. There's like a blower motor wiring and then the airbag. So they said that it doesn't matter. They'll still do the recalls whether all this stuff is here or not. They really don't care. Recall is something they have to do. So I'm just going to go ahead, remove the intake and remove the, the tune because, you guys, I am getting a new tune for this car. So I'm actually going to remove the JB Plus for now. But that's the only thing I'm going to be doing right now. Uh, but to get to the tune, i got to remove this intake right here. Um, and then after that, my friend hooked it up, Jose, the one been working on the car, and he got me the steering wheel. I need this clip and this plate because my plate was involved in an accident, so the plane actually bent, so the airbag doesn't sit right. So I need that plate, um, these cables, because I broke it because I'm very smart in life. And then, yeah, I'm just going to take that JB Plus tune out. Um, and then, yeah, this car should be ready for the next couple shops it needs to go, you know, go to, but we're almost there. Seems like everybody's still staring at me. You fake it then. MTV, and you don't choose your words carefully. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, we took out the tune, um, intakes back in, we replaced the plates and the brackets for the steering wheel. So let me explain to you guys what the current situation is and the reason why I haven't been uploading. Now, okay, let's see for example, I want to go ahead and install the mods. To install the mods, um, I need before I do that, I need to go smog it because I know like the charge pipe, it's not going to pass smog with the visual inspection. Um, so I, I can't do the mods right now. Also, I got to get some recalls done. So you might be asking, why don't you just do it? Just do the recalls. Well, I need the, the brackets and everything, which I just got today in order to do the recall. So finally got those in. I got to do the recall, but it's going to take a little bit of time at the, you know, the shop before I can actually get the car back. I'm going to try to get it in there today, hopefully, and then hopefully get it out tomorrow. We'll see. I think you guys are probably going to ask me, why don't you just do the hood then? Do the hood. You have, you have a hood. Just replace the hood, you know, you know, at least do a conversion. I gotta do VIN, VIN, VIN verification at the DMV before I can even do that. And you're like, okay, why don't you just do the VIN verification? Well, I can't do VIN verification until I do smog. So I'm in a little bit of a pickle here. So you guys can see that smog is really important right now. Once I do smog, everything else should be able to just line up. And at least I can start, you know, once I do smog, I do mods. And, uh, you know, actually I can do VIN and smog on the same day. I, just, I need to do smog. So once I smog this car, it's going to be a killer build after that. Right now, did want to post a lot of useless content this, throughout this entire week. But anyways, guys, if you guys want to support the channel, um, you know, to help, you know, get this thing as much mods as possible, and uh, you guys want to save a BMW in general by getting the wrap, you know, at least fulfilling the exterior look, make sure you get one of those decals down below, hashtag saving BMW, that would mean the world. And those of you who purchase them will be shout out in the next video. So thank you guys so much. Thank you guys for your patience. Um, I'll get you guys a video out soon, hopefully. And uh, without further ado, make sure to smash that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, peace out.